एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंड टाइम असलम दिस इज़ रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज़ रेड बाई सुमेरा कमल फर्स्ट हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर से टेररिस्ट हैव नो रिलीजन एंड इस्लाम हैज नथिंग टू डू विद टेररिज्म President has reiterated importance of transparency and accountability to improve moral standards of society. Austrian Minister for European and International Affairs arrives in Islamabad today to impart further impetus to multifaceted Pakistan-Austria relationship. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more youth in Srinagar today. UN Secretary General has expressed deep concern of, about a missile attack at Erbil in Iraq. The second cricket test of three match series between Pakistan and Australia ended in a draw in Karachi today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the incumbent government struggled for three years and at last succeeded in passing a landmark resolution at the United Nations designating March 15 as International Day to Combat Islamophobia. Addressing a public gathering at a grassy ground in Saidu Sharif Swat this afternoon, he said that the West has always committed blasphemy of the Holy Prophet peace be upon him in the name of freedom of expression. He said the Muslim community in the West suffered the most from Islamophobia. The Prime Minister said terrorists have no religion and Islam has nothing to do with terrorism, but the West has always linked Islam with terrorism. He said JUIF Chief Molana Fazal Rahman did nothing in the service of Islam in his 30 years of politics. Criticizing the fascist Indian regime, Imran Khan said the Karnataka court has banned the wearing of head scarf for women, which is the worst example of Islamophobia. He said the PTI government has steered the country out of difficult times, including corona and economic instability. Imran Khan said the whole world has acknowledged our strategy during the COVID pandemic. He further said the government has achieved a record production of wheat, maize, and rice, besides the record revenue generation through tax reforms. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the PTI has always presented public sentiments due to which it emerges victorious at all fronts. He was talking to members of the National Assembly who called on him in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister expressed the belief that the government with overwhelming public support will also succeed on the current political front. He advised the parliamentarians to intensify their public contacts and mobilize party workers in their respective constituencies. During the meeting progress on development projects in their respective constituencies and political situation also came under discussion those who called on the prime minister include makhdoom zain hussain qureshi mohammad ibrahim khan tahir iqbal aurangzeb khan riyaz fatiana sardar nasrullah najib harun sardar mohammad khan lagari asma qadir and javeria zafar MNA from Sindh Saima Nadeem member Sindh Assembly Rabia Asfar General Secretary General PTI Sindh Mubeen Jatoi and Arsalan Gumman also met the Prime Minister Planning Minister Asad Umar has said the PTI is going to organize a historic public rally on the call of Prime Minister Imran Khan on 27th of this month in Islamabad. Briefing media after a meeting party meeting in Islamabad today he said seven organizational committees have been formed with the directions to immediately start mass mobilization amongst public in every nook and corner of Pakistan. Asad Umar said provincial presidents of the PTI have been directed to formulate committees at all districts levels. He said all party organizations have been instructed to start mass mobilization to participate in the mammoth public rally to express solidarity with Imran Khan. This is Radio Pakistan. President Dr Arif Alvi has urged the cooperative sector to adopt morality and compassion based business models addressing an event titled ethics and business friends or foes in Islamabad today he said true happiness is not hidden in accumulation of wealth but instead concealed in empathy he further said human beings can distinguish between justice and injustice instinctively 
The president reiterated importance of transparency and accountability to improve the moral standards of society. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi held a telephonic conversation with his Moroccan counterpart Nasser Barita and discussed ways to further deepen cooperation between the two countries. He noted that Pakistan and Morocco have a long history of close coordination and mutual support at international forums, including the United Nations and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. He expressed the hope that next round of Pakistan-Morocco joint commission, chaired by two foreign ministers, would be convened in Islamabad soon. Austrian Minister for European and International Affairs Alexander Schlenberg arrives in Islamabad today on a four-day visit at the invitation of Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi. The Austrian Foreign Minister will be accompanied by a business delegation. The visit of Austrian Foreign Minister to Pakistan is expected to impart further impetus to the multifaceted Pakistan-Austria relationship. Nigerian Defense Ministry Minister Salihi Magashi called on Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today and discussed matters of mutual interest, regional security situation and bilateral cooperation. The Army Chief and Pakistan views Nigeria as a key country in African continent and we appreciate its role towards regional peace. The visiting dignitary appreciated Pakistan's role in regional stability and ensured to play his role for further improvement in diplomatic cooperation with Pakistan at all levels. Commander National Guard of Bahrain, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa also called on General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today. During the meeting, matters of mutual interest, regional security situation and measures to further enhance professional cooperation between the both the armies were also discussed. Speaking on the occasion, the Army Chief said Pakistan values its strong diplomatic, economic and defence relations with Bahrain. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has announced lifting of all corona-related restrictions in view of continuous declining trend of disease in the country. Briefing media along with Special Assistant on National Health Services Dr. Faisal Sultan, he however said the condition of vaccination for air travellers will stay in place. Asad Umar said the lifting of restrictions do not mean that the pandemic is over. We will continue close monitor of the behavior of pandemic to take timely decisions accordingly. Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more Kashmiri youth in Sirinagar today. The Indian troops martyred the youth during a cordon and search operation in Nogam area of Sirinagar. The troops sealed all entry and exit points and warned people against venturing out of their houses. The killing of the youth led to forceful anti-India protests in Nogam. Many people were injured after Indian forces personnel fired tear gas shells on the protesters. On the other hand, in a statement, senior all-party Suryat conference leader Mirwais Omer Farooq strongly condemned the slapping of draconian law, Public Safety Act, on noted journalist Fahad Shah by the Indian authorities. An extraordinary meeting of NATO defense ministers is being held in Brussels today. In a statement, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the impact on regional security in the Eastern Europe will be addressed in the meeting. The Secretary General stressed that NATO has a responsibility to ensure the crisis did not escalate beyond the borders of Ukraine. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed deep concern about a missile attack in Erbil in Iraq. In a statement, he urged Iraq's partners to support Iraqi efforts to advance regional peace and security in accordance with the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity and good neighborly relationships. The second cricket test of three match series between Pakistan and Australia ended in a draw in Karachi today. The scores were Australia 556 and 97 on two days. The third and final test will be played in Lahore from Monday. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. Day temperatures will be 8 to 11 degrees Celsius higher than normal. To end the news, here are some of the headlines once again. Prime Minister says terrorists have no religion and Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. 
president has reiterated importance of transparency and accountability to improve moral standards of society. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more youth in Sirinagar today. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan News Office.